the so-called Proud Boys, well, they made a court appearance and they got a big sentence. Yeah, big time jail behind bars for their roles in the January 6th attack. Two of the criminals, Joseph Biggs and Zachary Rail, well, they received their sentences yesterday while several other members of the right wing paramilitary group are set to be sentenced this week. Joseph Biggs, a member of the far right Proud Boys, was sentenced to 17 years in prison for playing a leading role in the Capitol attack. Jason Rail, president of the group's Philadelphia branch, received 15 years in prison. Prosecutors had asked for a 33 year sentence for Biggs and Tario. The longest sought in any of the January 6th trials and for a 30 year sentence for rail. Here's Joseph Biggs in the Senate gallery on January 6th. Yep, there he is. It's so funny how so many of them thought they wouldn't be caught covering up their faces. It's like, <laughs> that should tell people now that these little things you're doing, they're not going to keep the government from finding you. So, well, here's Zachary Rail. Here is him. He's right in front doing what appears to be, no, or what is, let's just call it what it is, a white power sign. Like, we're not saying, okay, guys, let's just be honest. Anyway, well, the judge in the case, US District Judge Timothy J. Kelly, accepted the request by prosecutors to apply a terrorism enhancement to the sentences. But they happen to feel as though the federal guidelines with that terrorism enhancement would suggest something that wasn't as great. Well, Judge Kelly said neither man intended to kill people, adding that most terrorism enhancement sentences. We're talking about cases where people are talking about blowing up buildings. Kelly also said he was required to avoid significant sentencing disparities. And the sentences the government was seeking were in line with similar cases. Now, before we weigh in on those sentences, and if we think they were just, well, I think it is right for us to give someone directly affected by January 6th a first crack at responding. Here's former Capitol Police Officer Michael Fanon. Do you believe that those are fair sentences? I think they're fair. Um, and I'll tell you why. It's because a federal judge uh, appointed to the court uh, who oversaw the case, uh, listened to the facts, and also was um, privy to the pre sentencing, uh, pre trial uh, reports, decided that that was the appropriate sentence. Yeah, um, I, I trust the judges in that case. I think that they were fair, uh, that they were overly fair with a number of the defendants in terms of the punishments that they've received. And so I really have no qualms with the sentences that they handed out. Uh, Jordan, do you? Not really. Uh, I just, I, I'm, my only caveat is just I want to see how this affects people. The Trump camp, right? I would think they were, you know, the strategy here is get as many people who are actually on the ground there convicted. And then you can show, I think, easier how they were instructed by Trump, the Trump administration, the Trump campaign to do this. I mean, Trump has tried to distance himself from the impacts of his language, the impacts of him showing up to the protest earlier that day and saying, we're going to march to the Capitol. This really, really undercuts any Trump case. So I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see what actually happens in that because Trump's got many, many legal cases. I, it, ideally, he's punished in all of them, but this is the one I'm, I'm the least optimistic about. Yeah, um, about and when you say least optimistic, least optimistic about uh, the case about him trying to overthrow the government, basically. Yeah, it's just there's so many. Opportunities for him to, you know, kind of wash his hands of it. But well, I wasn't there. I didn't do it. You know, it 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 might be more difficult. I I mean, I think you agree. The viewers agree. This is definitely a direct result of his language. He incited this, and this is something that he wanted. And they were actively in communication with people. But I'm sure he's going to have a ton of excuses and justifications for why it isn't. I just don't, I just don't know how that case is going to go. I hope he's he faces repercussions for it, but I just, that's the one out of all of his cases, that's the one I'm the least optimistic about. And the thing is, is I agree with you about not being as optimistic. And it's not for legal reasons, because legally, like you can't, as I teach media law, and as I was talking with the students yesterday and explaining First Amendment speech, uh, how you know you can't go into a crowded theater and yell Beyonce. Like you could end up with a stampede. There are certain words that are completely and totally unacceptable because it could mean people get hurt. And so in recognizing that reality, 
we have to consider that Trump's command for people to march to the Capitol and his push, the language he used, even if he didn't explicitly say, let's go string up Mike Pence, he did enough to create this havoc that threatened the lives of our leadership. And thus he should be held accountable for it. But at the end of the day, I think in part that people aren't gonna necessarily wanna hold Trump accountable for his words, but they'd be more likely to hold him accountable uh, well, I guess for some of the words in terms of the call to Brad Raffensperger in Georgia, or also holding him accountable for uh, keeping those documents knowingly so, even though the government had said, hey, we're gonna need those um, security clearance type related documents back. Uh, but yeah, I agree with you. I think it's more difficult and challenging to actually hold him accountable for inciting that attack on the US Capitol. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.